hello, hello. We are. Are we doing? Hmm? Well, I can just tell you that Joni prepped for me today, so. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm doing, other than I'm using the new Spellbinders dies for the mailbox and for the, um, so she used this one, didn't she know it? She got it. Did she? I don't know. She used those little, nope, that's from there. I don't think she used this one. No. Nope, she didn't. She did. We did on our other card samples. We did on the other card samples, but she just used everything in here and the same set. Um, so we are going to be mailboxing today. And the cards that we're making will not be for Christmas. Though we're gonna share you some share with you a few of the fun Christmas ones that we kind of showed last week through when we did a catalog walkthrough. Um, so you have lots of ideas on how to use this. Hello, hello everyone. Okay. Sam is um, making lots of noise over here. But she's die cutting. So, um, a little tip for this one. There is a matching stamp set, which is good for everyday use and Christmas. I guess I'll take it out so you can, might not be as shiny, but it, um, we do have these all in stock now. Just unpacked them. Just unpacked, and the girls are working on pricing and putting out, so if you are interested, um, make your comments so we can get it pulled. Um, and then on there is this cute little envelope stamp, and... The little envelope that's in the set, which just looks like a little rectangle, this fits perfectly on there. But we're going to use just the back of the envelope on your sample and have a little fun with that too. So, well, if you give me an um, envelope, I can die cut it and we can make a, a stamped one. Okay. I have this piece of white that I was just going to toss aside. There you go. And Sam the die. So, um, did we get the cardinal in? Yep. All right, so the cardinal is in stock. The sending holiday cheer words are in mm -hmm. stock. The mailbox is in stock. It also comes in a bundle. Um, and the new holiday blooms, you know, the Beeple blooms have been like super, super popular. In fact, I got a notice so I could pre-order yesterday, and I literally got the notice and had sold out. And minutes. sold out within five minutes because I didn't have their, my cart ready to go, and I went to to submit it, and it said that it were no longer available. So we have Christmas blooms that will work for all year. Also, I think that the capsules are super fun, um, and then these both these both of these samples just used. The mailbox and the flowers that come with the mailbox. Um, this one has got is gold foiled, and this one is stamped and embossed. Versus this one is gold foiled, and we do have the foil for the hello, hello everyone. The plaid, for the, um, plaid is in, and we do have the foils for the little words that matches the stamp. So if you're a um, glimmer person versus a stamping person, and then. Hopefully Nicole's not watching. <laughs> um, She's at work. She's probably fine. This is a birthday card that Sam made for her sister-in-law using um, the gray, black, and then gold foil. It is really um, fabulous. The embossing folder in the back is um, on its way, right? Yeah. No. That, um, one's, next that one's next month's release. Next month's release. Um, we do have... We have some that are similar, though, that could easily be swapped. Very true. Or you could use the um, Glimmer foil plate and run it through. Oh, yeah, yeah. Blind um, emboss is what they call it. To do blind embossing. So pretty cool that way, too. All right. So 
Now let's make some cards. So um, the die for the mailbox. So see this where this window is here? There is a die, that I think Sam's got it in front of her, that fits in here. So you could actually run the mailbox through, um, with this in and it would cut a window so you can make it into almost like a shaker. And you get a whole bunch of cute letters in there. Too bad I didn't think about that before we started. Because uh -huh. that would have been super cute. We might just have to make that one later. We might have to do it if we do a, like a Christmas themed one, maybe. Yeah. So anyway, I think we but have it also Christmas works sprinkles. to die cut out all of the little um, words, messages, so it fits on the mailbox. Okay. But I'm gonna tell Joni about my idea, and I bet, I you bet she'll make it for us. It. Mm hmm I bet she'll make us that sample. Especially with the, the foam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the die for the... Yeah, all the glitter foam's in stock, too. Yeah. All color, All the colors. All the colors and the glitter foams are in stock. I'm telling you. Well, Once again, Spellbinders we are kicked almost, it. We are almost out of base plates. Oh, we're yeah. almost out of... I think we only have one left. Okay. So if you are interested in the universal plate from Spellbinders, we only have one or maybe two left. There's just one. Just one left. It will work in your physical machine. We have an embossing folder next in there. We do have an embossing <laughs> folder. But if you have the platinum, I can tell you that these are amazing because now you can do your um, 3D embossing folders from other companies and run them through your your platinum machine without any issues. But it does also work in the Big Shot. We used it in the Switch. Yes. It works in all the... Okay, it's just not sure. It just does not work in like a Gemini. Yeah, because their opening is too thin. Okay. So we do have one of those left in stock. If you want to, otherwise I'm... I mean, I'm going to put a, an order in and get more, but... But if you want it now. But if you're one of those that don't like, doesn't like to wait. Okay, so I'm gonna do the paper that I that I gave Joni to use is a six by six pad from that rabbit company. Rabbit hole. Rabbit hole. Do they have a new release we should order? So um, this is Bow Bunny. We used this one a few weeks ago, and it was a scrap. But it does score a little line there so that you can um, hold this open so that you can stick things in here. So it's super cool. And so she made me gray on gray with a mailbox. How fun. And then when it, um, when you die cut it, it does do... Um, a little bit of that embossed edge. Uh, let's see if I can get it to focus. Nope, guess not. Camera is not focusing on that. But it does have a little bit of a, an embossed edge on there. So, do I what? Oh, jeez. I need glue. Okay. All right, so let's make this mailbox so you can see how fun it is. Um, it, it, the mailbox itself doesn't have a lot of pieces. It's when you get to the fun part is doing all of the arranging of the florals. So there's that side of the mailbox, and then she cut the flowers to go in the middle of that. And there is that little edge there so you can kind of see where it goes. Look how fun that is! This one is going to be one of those that's just like a whimsical mailbox. She did this one here for this, and then we're going to do this one, so we're not going to, we're going to go like this. So 
she cut me, she cut me, um, choices. Choices? Choices. Who would that? have thought to give you choices? I know. All right, so this is that little envelope, and it does come with a little flap. So I'm going to, um, put a glue down on that. And fold it up. Here. Look at how cute that is. Cute little envelope there. Now you could, if you really were ambitious, you could um, make your own little envelopes and put little messages, messages in each of them. All right, I see I put a little dot of glue there. That's because the little dots from the little, from this flower. Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> the little Just dots that go on, your hand. The, like the Queen Anne's Lace type. We're putting one of those on the back here as an envelope seal. How cute is that? And then Sam has made us to stamp this one. So we're going to add that to our mailbox too. So like a whole bunch of letters going up. Oh, what are we doing? I just cut a flap for it. Not that it's going to matter, but it's going to matter to me. Okay. Alrighty. So I am um, This is this part of the mailbox, so I'm going to glue that down. So this one you want to make sure, because it does have that little score line there, you want to make sure that you stay above the score line if you want that to open. So, and I like to um, open it up just a little bit so that it looks like the mail is going in. Oh, I drafted this one too. I had that option. Oh, she did a little double layer. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Sometimes. Crazy for giving you options. I know. I'm just going to put that in there like so. Look how fucking cute that is. Are you guys loving this mailbox? I'm loving this mailbox. All right, and then she cut me, it has a handle. I don't see what happened to the other part of the handle, though. Oh, there it is. So, if you see, they have, it's a two-part handle. All right, and I'm going to turn this over so I don't, if I, when I glue it together, I don't, um, I don't ruin the good side of my cardstock. <laughs> Why don't you just work on your mat? Because I think it's going to blend in too much with the lines in there. Isn't that the same color as your mat? Peach. <laughs> Pink. What about a piece of black? I have a piece of black up here. So, what are y'all thinking about of this mailbox? Sam There's and I a think question that says, is the little envelope available? The little envelope is sold in the set with the mailbox. Yes. All of these pieces that we're using today are all from the mailbox die. So the whole set, let me show you. The whole set is on here. That's the envelope. There's the envelope. Oh, TJ Cool wants the, wants the whole set. Okay. okay. And they do have a bundle set, too. We do have it as a bundle. Um, I should go grab that. You should grab it, Sam. Because it will do it, like, all year through that way. I think we do three stamp envelopes. All right. I'm just going to add a little bit. Now, you could get really fiddly with this and add foam tape behind it. Um, I am not going to. I am just going to add my handle on there. Look at how flipping cute that is. Okay, and then I'm going to, okay, I'm going to glue my papers together so that I can start filling my mailbox. We were just talking about um, last year 
in Spellbinder's release that happened um, a little bit earlier than this one. And how it was such a good release. And I think that this year is like um, just as good. Just as good. It is craziness. Well, yeah. That card up there, we just got that die set back in. I should pull that back out. Yes, you should. From last year. Alright, and I am putting lots of foam dots in the back. Oh, so all of this this greenery here and the Merry the Christmas now. are back in stock if you miss this that one too. If you miss this from last year. Um and add some little um, little foam, um, the smaller ones on. Um, get to pull all those little tabs off. Luckily they come off pretty easily. That's why I like using them these uh, 3L scrapbook adhesive ones. And Kara says hello from Orlando. Ooh, ooh. How's your trip going? Are you still on that ship, Carol? putting it towards the bottom because we have lots of flowers to put towards the top. And so I'm kind of making sure that it is... Look at how cute that is! Alright, so then Joni started assembling some of these flowers already for me. And look at how fun that is. And I am... I guess I'm going to just start putting them in here. Oh. What if... Where's mm. my, uh, where's my cool stuff? I don't know. <laughs> Did you throw them in the back there? Um, probably over here in this pile. Here's those dies. I am going to them. add this one on the bottom by the mailbox. This one to add the new black junk to it. Like so. So now it's just a matter of arranging our little flowers. And oh, I hear boxes. Uh oh. More boxes? Hopefully it's the one from Australia. Mm, maybe. So um I don't know if you guys follow Mente on social media and they have a new release coming. It's all been ordered. I've already paid for it, so we should get it shipped really as should be in one of their first shippings. So we should get it quickly. And um, questions, comments, mm -hmm. concerns. Carol says they just docked today. The English is fabulous. I want to go on it. <laughs> Um, and then she says she can't wait to scrap with all those new Disney papers we should on Sunday. Oh, uh, yeah, that was like our top seller this weekend were those Disney papers. Yeah, just I'm going to add this before I cover up something I'm not supposed to. What did I put? Put the little envelope thingy on the back side. Yeah, in case you want to use the other side. Um, and this one. Alrighty. Okay. <coughs> Carol says, hope we have some left. Hey, we have still a decent amount left. Yeah, we do. We ordered heavy because... Um, we knew it was going to be popular, and with simple stories, sometimes the um, embellishment parts.
I like the black. That's a new color for them. Look how cute that is. I'm going to add. And with these, I use my pickup tool, but I just I push it off just a little bit um, so it comes off a little easier. And cute. Cute, cute. I think I'm going to add this. And I'm not going to call this one done. Um, are we, my phone has, on the screen has stopped, um, stopped sharing, so are we sharing, are we, you're still good, okay, alright, so look at how fun that is, we'll slap that onto a card front and ready to go, oh, so I've got one for me, oh, look at how flipping cute that is, good? Do I need anything else? Should I add some more leaves? Any question? Anybody have any comments on that? Should I add a couple? I could cut this apart and add a couple leaves. I think I'm going to. I'm not even waiting for your comments. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to it's already decided. Cut it here and bit of glue and I'll say I love these little tiny ones. These little tiny rhinestones. Those little tiny rhinestones, aren't they? Look how teeny tiny those are. So it's got a good amount of sizes and it has a lot of those teeny tiny ones. So alright, um I really think we need to add one more little of these little flowers on there. Right here. And I'm going to cut one of the leaves off. And put it behind it. Might need to use this my little scooter here. And I'm going to add a rainstorm there. Okay. Yeah. I'm happy with that. All right, so that is that one. How fun is that? And then using that same six by six pad of paper, because it comes, I didn't bring it in, but it has the same pattern, but it's in a rainbow of colors. So it has yellows, reds, three shades of blue. Um, so it's super cool. I'll have Sam grab it because she just went out. So there again, I am going to, and it's from the rabbit hole. Can you grab the rabbit hole? Front? Yeah. It's, it should be right over. Alrighty, and there again, we're going to do the same thing with the mailbox. This one we're doing the cute navy, and I'm going to fold this back just a little bit. Okay, our format's here. Ooh. Also, DHL is here. Ooh. <laughs> it's bonus day today. And we know DHL means it's international. Yeah, and but it's not Minte. It's a new company for us. And I've been meaning to order them for years. And finally, the shipping always scared me. And I just finally did it. So, this is the... Um, You're upside down. No, I'm upside down. 
<laughs> so this is the, um, it's called Spring Floral Number Two. Literally, it's the same pattern but in all the different colors. It is super adorable and um, I love it. It's a really pretty pattern. It's a cute pattern and then it's just fun. So if you notice, this time I did not um, pop up my mailbox. I left it flat. So, um, just so you know, you can do it either way. I love that they have it so that they cut this other side over here. So it gives you a whole, if you wanted to make it, um, well, like we're making it completely different colors, but you could make it just like a little bit lighter or darker shade of your main mailbox. And, uh, well, like we did on the green one there. Yeah, like the green one here. So we have two shades of green. Two shades of green that way. Okay. And then Joni looks like she uh, assembled a few things for me on this one. Yay, raw. Um, look at this one. Cute, cute. And Well, no, I'm going to wait until I put the, put my, my bits down. That way. There we go. And, oh, okay, put these back on too. So much fun. I, I think that these flowers are really pretty by themselves also. So it's like even if you were to do a card without um, the mailbox and just using the flowers, I think that you'd be very happy with that too. All right. Just holding that down in place. And this one, she did the little dots in the gold foil or gold glittery paper. I think I better put this on so I don't cover up any words. Why did I have it? Such an issue. All right, so this one it says kindly to deliver to my dear friend. I mean, we could die cut this. She die cut bits, these little bits for me. We could have totally just cut this a little bit smaller and layered it on top. Tammy asks, is this the mailbox cut thing that I'd use her big shot with? It is, Tammy. This will work in your big shot. And we're your Spellbinders Platinum, your Sizzix Switch, all of which we have in stock. I don't know if we have Platinum in stock. I think we sold our last oh, one. Oh, we sold our last one? Well, we'll order some more. Just having fun arranging. Hey, Sam, can you um put the handle together for me? The really hard piece? Yeah. Oh, where'd that go? What are you looking for? Well, I was gluing this flower and it flew. It flew. So. If you notice this one, Joni did. Look, look how cute that is. So she did the little um, doodle bug within the little envelope seal. And we're going to put this like so. Sam is making my uh, handle. Handle.
Tammy said, is it new? It is it's new. It's brand new. Just throw it out on the floor today. We do have it um, the mailbox by itself, or we have it in a bundle. And Sam did bring the bundle in, so we can show you that. The bundle, these do save, what did we figure? Five or six dollars? Rather than buying them all individually. You know, I'd have to do the math. But they have um, this one that is cute that you could use for wedding or Valentine's Day. Or anniversary then they have this little add-on that is all Christmas related so you have your candy cane and your greenery and your baubles and then it also includes the mailbox so this is $44.99 $49.99 99. okay so um, otherwise this mailbox is do you remember how much it is by itself I don't remember. I don't remember. I think it's probably I think it's like twenty five. Twenty five is I was thinking it was between twenty five and thirty. I think it's twenty five. So. And then I brought in this other foil plate which we don't have, so we haven't showed. We don't have ours. We don't we have don't have. we don't have So you haven't shown it. Because right. and for those of you that like to do glimmer foil That's the second from this second. is um this another set that works on the mailbox here. It says a little note, big thanks, please deliver to Santa, confetti enclosed, it's your birthday, kindly to deliver to my favorite human. I feel like this would be really fun to glimmer onto an envelope. I think it would be too. Hmm. <laughs> so much fun. So much fun. Alright. And I feel like I need I need something. I swear I can't keep anything in my hands. Alrighty. And I am going up above a little bit because I think I think I'm still gonna be okay when I put it on my card base. Just barely. If I still turn it just a hair.
those samples again. And I'm missing one. I still feel like I'm missing one. But maybe I'm not. I don't think you are. All right. So, there we go. Any questions, anything I need to answer? All righty. We'll uh, go back through comments and make sure we pull everybody's um, special orders. I want to thank you all for watching and hanging out with us today for lunch with Chris. And um, these items are all currently in stock with us. And we will be getting some more items from Spellbinders probably in later this week or early next week because we did place another order over the weekend um, for some items. Not this embossing folder, but another couple embossing folders that came were came in stock. Um, someone, oh, I, we shared the Hero Arts um, shop box and somebody asked what the shop box was. Basically it is a, we get it as a blind box. We have no idea what's in it. We decide whether we want to order one box or two. And um, this release is fall and Christmas. And we have it, we're the first store to have it, they send it to brick and mortar stores up first. Okay, so that it's not gonna be available for any online stores until after July 15th. So we have it in our store before that. And um, we did show a picture of some of the samples of the cards there. We do, and they are, we'll be showing the whole thing on live on Sunday. So. We have currently six of everything in stock, I want to say. So, but we can, we are allowed to reorder first. So we get first dibs, basically. It's pretty, cool. it's a pretty cool program for brick and mortar stores. Okay. Anything else? Uh, Tammy asked if we have the big Misty yet. Um, they just think of the original size. The original though. size Misty, it shipped. So we probably should have, we probably will probably have, have it, it by week. the end of the week. I didn't check tracking to see um, what day it was arriving, but we, I do know, we got a notice that it shipped. All right. All right. Anything else? No. Nope. All righty. Thank you all for hanging out with us. We'll see you on Sunday at about 11 and share with you what's new this week.